quarter of a mile. First unit. Birds are pulling up into the burnout area. Water puddles allowing the tires to break loose easily and the 2,000 plus horsepower spinning them, smoking the tires. And you see the parts flying and oil coming out from underneath Al Bergler's car. Apparently, something going wrong with the motor. Ray Beetle in the Blue Max pulling into the burnout area. And the official saying, shut it off as Al Bergler, as Ray Beetle gets set to go now on a single run with the Blue Max. Every car must make the same number of runs and eliminations, traveling quite a distance to get to Gainesville, Florida. Gary Bergen from California, the Orange Baron, a former national champion. His car, a 77 Monza. Both cars inching into the staging beams, getting set for that green light, which means go. Gary Bergen as Gordy Bottom records the low elapsed time of the meet. For this is Adversary pulling up on the outside lane. Joe Satmary from a qualifying round. Let's see how Nicholson made it to the final. Satmary, Hammond, Indiana, Camaro. And there's Nicholson, the driver out of Atlanta, Georgia. Countdown. Staged. Gone. And Nicholson. out in front. Manchester, Division One, Northeast champion from Westport, Massachusetts, is up against Nicholson. These were the quarterfinals now. Nicholson on the outside lane, Manchester on the inside lane. Ronnie Manchester comes off the line just a tad quicker than Nicholson, but he is overhauled and Nicholson just shoves this car away from Cario of New Jersey on the outside, closest to the camera. Nicholson, this is it to make it into the championship. On the start, Iaconio out in front, but coming up around is Nicholson, and watch this head-to-head -head battle that saw Nicholson win by a matter of feet when they went through the eyes. Again, in slow motion, Iaconio on the far side, closest to the camera, Nicholson makes his charge. How about that, Brock? This is unbeated into the finals. The Whiteland, Indiana campaigner faced first among the top 16, Richie Zool of Arlington, Texas, and Amanza. As you can see, he finished seventh in the world standings a year ago. Staging area and ready for competition. among the world's top 16 of pro stalkers and out in front and just pulling away is Bob Glidden. Glidden in a Ford Pinto hitting her finals and this is Larry Lombardo defending world champion out of Melbourne, Pennsylvania. Glidden versus Lombardo and it's almost no contest. As it looked like Lombardo was off to a great start, but back came Glidden to win the quarterfinals. An example of big horsepower down there in the eyes at the end of the quarter mile where it really counts, Ken. And, and obviously Glidden and Nicholson have it. This was the semi-final round. It was Ewell of Reno, Nevada outside, briefly in front. Then Glidden makes his move. He's up the out on the inside, goes out in front, and he wins. Ewell's Camaro. Oh, we're ready. This is it. The grand finale in Pro Stalkers for this year. Up to the line. Nicholson and Glidden. And as we look at it here, they move around that water. We're not allowed to use anything but water to heat up those tires. Back into it. Get set. There's the Glidden machine. Bob Glidden on Ford Pinto. Remember, 600 horsepower. They run on gasoline. Gets those tires as sticky as he can. And what is considered one of the fastest drag strips in the world, if not the fastest, here at Ontario, California. Okay. The pace
raise your money, you take your chance here. It's Nicholson versus Glidden, World Finals Pro Stockers from Ontario, California. This is the car of Bob Glidden. Away into competition in the grand finale. It is Glidden out in front of Nicholson. Glidden on the far side is pulling away. He's going to win this by over a car length. Bob Glidden wins in the world finals for Pro Stock. Then came the semifinal round against Jim Adolph, Selmore, California. The Snake coiled a strike in his Plymouth against another Plymouth driven by Jim Adolph. He's been out of competition about a year. This was the semifinal. Lurching toward speed, Adolph's car seems to be smoking the tires and then comes up with a box of neutrals and Don Prudhomme is into the front of the path of young Gordy Bonnet and this Pontiac into the finale of this funny car world finals. His first run was against Bob Pickett of Granada Hills, California in the Mickey Thompson Oldsmobile. Right at the start, Pickett had trouble and had a roll away from the line. Mechanical problems were going for as good an elapsed time. Now we're looking at the quarterfinals. The competitor for Bonham is Gary Bergen, former national champion. He had low ET, elapsed time of six and four 100 seconds. Burnout on Bonham's car, getting those tires just as sticky as possible cleaning off any residue from coming up to the line. Look at that bounce, Ken. That's just a question of uh, the big, soft, low-pressure tires at the back. Only about four or five pounds per square inch tire pressure. Now watch in slow motion as Bonnet came up to that line and got this burnout underway. They use water now. They used to use bleach, but only water is allowed according to NHRA rules at this time. Very hot inside those cars. Uh, very, very difficult to drive. Very twitchy. Very treacherous automobiles. Funny car competition. This was the quarter final round. Bonin versus Bergen. Using that handbrake, burping that engine, cackling. This is Bonin coming to the line, closest to the camera. Gary Bergen on the outside lane. What a peak of emotion is building inside those two cars now. This is an incredible moment for these men. World Finals underway. Quarter final round. You can see the winner is Bonin as there were problems all over the place for Gary Bergen. Semi-final round. This is TV Tommy Ivo of Burbank, California, a quarter of century in drag racing. This has been his best performance in 25 years. What and a story for Tommy Ivo. Been in this business, probably made more runs in drag racing than any man, man alive. And yet, he's never won a major title. This is his closest try at, 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 at a victory. And you know this is a big moment for him. This was the semi-final round for a guy who started as a child actor at the age of four. And his car acted up right at the start, and Bonin was away to win in the semi-final round and call up ready for the biggie. The finals, world finals here in Ontario, California, pitting the three-time world champion, the veteran Don Prudhomme against Gordy Bonham, the youngster. Just raw horsepower and concentration now. There's, uh, imagine these guys are going to run roughly around the distance of uh, the, the track on most high school football fields, Ken, and uh, they're going to do that in just over six seconds. An incredible performance. The old 440 in six seconds. There he is, the challenger, Gordy Bonham, the three-time world champion on the inside lane. On the start, Prudhomme is in trouble smoking his tires. He's trying to make a comeback, but Gordy Bonham has won it. Gordy Bonham has pulled the upset. In the final round, Gordy Bonin pulls the fast one in the world finals for funny cars. Coming up next, the ultimate, the heavyweights, the top fuel competition. Who had the best ET in the qualifying rounds. Only 16 machines qualified for the world finals, and his elapsed time, his ET, was 5 and 88 one hundredths of a second. Here you see him coming back to the line after warming up those tires and preparing for his first run in the finals, one of the elite 16 to make the round. His opponent is Rick Ramsey. And watch what happened here. Christmas tree. 
flicker one to another and then to green. And on this start, away goes John Abbott, leaving Ramsey behind. But that's not the end of this story. John Abbott jumped the timing light. Red was flashed on. Graham Light ascended to the finals in top fuel dragster competition. His first opponent, Hank Johnson from Marysville, Washington. You're watching Graham Light prepare this 2,000 horsepower nitro burning machine for his first run among the top 16. That's Light. Johnson. the start line, focusing all their concentration on those lights. Out of the hole is important, and out comes Johnson first. Graham Light on the near lane, breaks through at the final moment as he goes out around Hank Johnson to win quarterfinals now. It's Light against the all-time veteran Don Garlitz, who's won more top fuel titles than anyone in the history of the game. Focus of attention, those starting lights. Garlitz on the far side goes out in front. Graham Light pours it on and surges into the lead to pull an upset. Still another upset here. And Garlitz defeated the quarterfinals, made it in the semi. This semi round, Canadian against Canadian. Terry Camp against Graham Light. Now watch this staging area sequence. At first light on top is the pre-staging light. And when the Machines move online, those bicycle tires move into the staging area, a second set of lights comes on. And then the starter can snap the button and send them on their way. Semi-final round and out in front. It was briefly Terry Cap and then Graham Light surged on as Cap. And here's how he drove his way into the world finals. Dennis Baca against England's Clive Skilton. First round eliminations among the top 16 as they started up through their brackets. And out in front goes Dennis Baca as Clive Skilton gives him a good run, but he beats him by about half a car length. In the time of six and one, one hundredths of a second. Watch this run. How about this, Rock Yates? Well, this is indicative of the kind of competition that these really, really good top fuel drivers are capable of. They just drive right through to the finish line every time, and you just can't let up for a hundred machines at the end of the quarter mile. Richard Clark was next quarterfinals out of Dallas, Texas, to face Dennis Baca. Look at those machines. What prehistoric monsters they remind one of. They're just incredible. Just Pouring out horsepower from all sides. It's a magnificent mechanical monster. Dennis Baca's machine on the near side. The far side was Richard Clark. This was the quarterfinal. Out of control. Almost in bad trouble was Richard Tharp and again Baca victorious. Let's take a, a semi-final round. It's Shirley Muldowney from Michigan. World champion, the only woman to hold a license in top fuel dragsters. She's certainly proven herself. She's up against Dennis Baca. And here is how it went for Shirley Muldowney. Don't call her Chacha. A little psyching going on here. Dennis Baca has switched lanes at the final moment. He has moved to the near lane. He's allowed to do that. He had the lowest elapsed time, and he can make the choice. It may have broken Muldowney's concentration. They are away. And surging out in front at the last moment, it is Dennis Baca to move into the finals. It looked like something happened. And from the United States of America, Dennis Baca ready to battle it out. Dennis Baca nearest to the camera. Boy, what a day this could be. And there's problems. There are problems on Graham Light's machine. It is being rolled back, and he's taking off those fireproof gloves. After coming all this way, the Canadian Graham Light is going to be left standing at the altar. A terrible break. He's on adjusting his helmet now to take it off. The machine is being rolled back. Dennis Baca will have to make the run. But it's predetermined. All he has to do is come through the quarter mile block, and we have a new finalist to win it all here today in the World Finals. 
He's going all the way, though. He's going hard. That's impressive, Ken. He didn't have to. He could have coasted down through there, but he'd stay down it all the way. Look at that time. Five.